Now, you're both here to talk about the Hat and Garden heist film. It's absolutely fantastic. I watched it yesterday. It's in the cinemas this weekend. It's sort of a mix of everything. It like, feels like a proper British film. There's loads of great jokes in it and, and it's very funny characters. Yeah, what, yeah. What, but it only happened two years ago. Yeah. And it's already a film. Yeah, and there's already about three other films they're going to make of it as well. So <laughs> like, it was a question of getting there first. Everybody's thought, thought, boy, this is a film to be made, right? Of course. And well, so, it, you know, exciting. Ronnie Thompson just decided, right, get on and do it. And he was hanging around, I was hanging around, and so off we went. What, when you got the phone call, I mean, was it still in court at the time? I mean, no, it wasn't no. still in court, was Just it? Finished. No, I think they were all inside by then. But, right. uh, <laughs> well, they are, you know, I play a character called Danny Jones, who, you know, was a fitness fanatic. Right. You know, he was uh, known to wear a fez occasionally. Oh, so a bit eccentric. A it? little bit eccentric, yeah. you know, he slept on the floor sometimes and did army. Army stuff. This is okay. what we hear because we yeah. never got to see any of them. Well, I was going to say, does it make it easier or harder knowing that they are real people? It makes it slightly easier, right? In yeah. a way that you, you don't have to play them exactly because you mm. don't know who they are. Of so, course. and they, they can't really complain because they're not going to see it. Well, if they do complain, I'm very, very sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, they were hard. As, they were hardened criminals. Like they weren't yeah. just like six granddads playing bridge. No, like, no, oh, no. I've got an idea. No. Like, they genuinely yeah. were criminals. No, it yeah, was yeah. their job. But it, I think it's because in this modern world of like cyber, you know, crimes and, and those and dangerous kind of that, it, there was something just like it sounds like something like Top Cat would do. Like it just it just seems sort of like <laughs> slightly comical, didn't it? Well, it is. I mean, it is slightly comical when they start to describe somebody, you know, who's done the biggest, the biggest cash robbery in the world, and down the stairs comes old Terry Perkins. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's not, not quite the image, you know. Oh, yeah. And, and it, took, they had, it took them two days. They had to go home, go to bed, and then come back the next day <laughs> and finish the job. And is it true one of your... Was it Larry, your character, used, the, used his own bus pass to get to the robbery? Well, better than that, he uses a bus pass he'd steal. That's stolen, right, he stole it, yeah. yeah, someone left it on the seat. Like, yeah. put, some blood bloke gets off the bus and leaves his bus pass on the seat, so he picks his bus pass up and uses it to go to, on the robbery. <laughs> you know, obviously realising, you know, he, 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 want, he wants to do it undercover, even, even <laughs> travelling on the bus. But, uh, yeah, they are. I mean, they're very experienced, of course. experienced criminals. Well, I, I, I saw a few of the, the, the bits at the time of how they got into the vault and stuff like that, and they, the hole that they uh, climbed through is not a big hole, is not, it, that they, they no. managed to get through? No. It, well, I mean, that you see that... There it is. That's it, the it, it's about hole. A, those holes, each of those three concentric holes, they're all about... They're about a foot in diameter. Well, we've, I, we've got the props department to actually, like... <laughs> Do one of the, the things. And, far and, off, I mean, that, yeah. is, that is not. A, no, we won't not. take you with us. I mean, no. that's. I, mean, I, would, I would not have got the phone call. You wouldn't have got the phone <laughs> call. Not. You'd have lost a job before you got it. <laughs> yeah.